the responses by on behalf of the chairperson and IEBC, the affidavit of Wafula Chabukati, the affidavit of uh, Majan Hussein Majan, the CEO, the affidavit of Professor Abdu Yakub Gule, the affidavit of Commissioner Moya Mulu, the affidavit of Martin Washira Nyaga, the database administrator, the affidavit of Michael Uma, the director of ICT, the affidavit of Moses Lendema Senkuli, the acting director of water registration, and affidavits filed by presiding officers and residing officers of the contested polling stations and constituencies. Let me start. Uh, my, 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 my lady Chief Justice, by observing the peculiar nature of the proceedings before this court. That is to say, these are proceedings that uh, are based on affidavit evidence. And we all appreciate the limitations that that has. That we have people, persons who have sworn affidavits who are not available to court to be cross-examined on their allegations. And some of the allegations we have heard, as we shall demonstrate in the course of our submissions, are outrageous, to say the least. My lords and ladies, we have been here before you. Some of us have had the great privilege of being here before you in 2013, in 2017, twice. And this honorable court must take credit, I think, unparalleled in anywhere in the Commonwealth, in my humble learning of the subject, <clears throat> in helping to clarify, to clarify how the electoral process in Kenya should be conducted. And we submit that the clarifications that this court has given since 2013 have enriched the conduct of the electoral process. And it is my first submission that the IEBC and its chairman conducted the 9th August 2022 presidential elections strictly in compliance with the guidelines that this court has given. My lords, since the annulment of the presidential election in 2017, IEBC overhauled, it overhauled its entire electoral process procedures to align those procedures with the guidelines that my lords had given. Your decision in uh, uh, the minor care, the, the, the decision of the Court of Appeal in the minor care case set out the guidelines <coughs> for the protection of the ballot at the polling station, the transmission, tallying, and declaration of presidential results. We have abided by that decision. Your decision, my lords, in, in, in uh, Raila Odinga versus IEBC uh, petition number one of 2017 rendered even more detailed clarifications on the procedure. The decision in the uh, National Super Alliance versus the Independent Commission gave further clarification as to the very controversial issue up to that time of how to handle complementary voting. And again, we learned from that and we have used that in this election. Since 2017, over the last five years, uh, the IABC undertook post-election evaluation, it, it reviewed its strategic plan, it uh, developed an elections operations plan, a boundaries review operations plan, continuous registration of voters, and several other measures that flowed from the guidance that this court had given. My ladies and my lords, <coughs> In the cases that have brought us before you previously, we had numerous arguments about jurisprudence. What does the law mean? What do the regulations mean? What does the act say? The 
petition now before you has absolutely nothing to do with any legal lacuna because you have spoken so loudly on that subject previously <clears throat> although my learned friend Mr. Karori will be reiterating what you have said as regards article 183 your own thoughts on the subject are very well laid out in your previous judgment this my lord is a petition about facts it's a petition about what happened what happened when where with what consequences and therefore ultimately notwithstanding the very lucid and learned and earnest arguments by my very learned friends to my right this petition is about numbers it is ultimately about numbers the petitioners have tried to argue every other point except numbers I will be demonstrating to you my lady in <coughs> my lord <coughs> in a short while that we conducted a proper fair constitutional legal impartial election my learned friend mr kamau karori will follow me and he will get back to the the parameters that you have set mr eric gumbo will talk about uh, that's mr karori will answer and this is very important my lord we do not want to waste our